Welcome to Branson, Missouri. How's everybody doing out there today? We hope you're having a beautiful day, but staying in away from the heat. Although in Branson, we just had a little rain and it was beautiful. Hey, listen, I got a great menu for you today. We're going to do a broccoli, cheese, chicken, bake, kind of a casserole. Do it all in my skillet. Of course, we're going to do some rice. And I've got a great salad, a cold salad, that I want to show you, okay? Something, a salad you probably know about and have heard about, but we're going to do it today. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do the rice. We're going to get the rice started. I've already got my rice cooker heated up, okay? And I'm going to put two cups of rice, just two cups of plain old white rice. And then I'm going to put four cups of liquid, but it's going to be two cups of my low sodium chicken broth and two cups of water, okay? So the four cups, two and two, are going in, okay? Move down, cook button, clean as you go, rice is going. Okay, this is going to be such a quick meal today. You guys are not going to believe it. Elizabeth, who do we have we joining have us? Ann Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. And Dottie Zarnowski. Hi, Dottie. Carol Boyer is with us. Hi, Carol. I hope you're doing better. Okay. All right. I'm going to heat up my skillet right now because this is a quick, easy, and delicious. I'm talking delicious casserole right here on top of the counter. You don't have to turn the oven on. Nothing's heated. I made my chicken this morning. Okay, I got up, made some chicken breast, three chicken breasts, and I cut them up. I diced them right there. That's all you need to do. And remember, if you do things ahead of time, then you don't have to worry about it and it's not going to take long in the kitchen. Like right now, I'd have to wait for chicken to cook and all that stuff. Don't do that to yourself. Just do a little prep work before, because when you're actually doing the, the thing, it makes it so much quicker and easier. Okay? Trust me on that. Okay, my skillet is heating up. This is how quick this is going to be today, okay? The first thing we're going to do is, of course, you heat the pan. Always heat the pan. And then, and then, once the pan is heated, then you put your oil. I always use canola oil. You guys know that. You guys can use whatever oil you like and whatever oil you prefer. But for me, canola oil is a light oil, and it goes well with everything, and the taste doesn't change, and it's, all, it's, it's a great oil. I use it all the time. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, I have two cloves of garlic that I slice, and um, I'm going to get a little bit. Terry says, have a great show since watching her granddaughter. You oh, later. Hi. Well, have a good time with that little beauty. She is so adorable. She is cute. She is so cute. Emily says, sorry I'm not there to help, but it sounds good. Well, Em, how are you doing? We're worried about you. We're thinking about you. We miss you here in the kitchen, but we know that you're, uh, you know, you're just having a blast right now, I'm sure. <laughs> I kind of went through the same sort of thing yesterday, so I know that uh, it's not fun. Carol says, yes, I'm better. Thank you. Good. Very good, Carol. I'm glad to hear it. I'm very glad. I like when people are able to get up and oh, get well and get back on their feet. So right, right now, right. Elizabeth, can you already smell this in the oh, kitchen? It oh, there is, I'm telling you, garlic, onion, oh. bell pepper in a skillet. That's got to be one of the best smells. It's my favorite vegetable oh, combination. It's so amazing. Okay. And I like watching the onions jump around in the they pan. They do jump around. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> all right. So all that, I mean, this is so easy. You're not even going to believe it. I mean, seriously, if, if I didn't chat like I always do, you could probably have this done in 15 minutes and literally ready for the table. That's how easy and quick this is. Today we're going to chat because that's what we like to do, right? Okay, so now in my onion and my garlic that I have sauteing here, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want the garlic to burn, so and you can see it's already turning a really nice, beautiful brownish color. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but I don't want it to burn. Hey, let's put our, our broccoli in. I'm going to saute the broccoli. Ooh. Oh, broccoli and oh, onion. Yeah. And oh, now, oh, now, can you see oh, this on oh, there, Elizabeth? Oh, oh. 
smells amazing. Yeah, very good that smell. My lovely daughter Elizabeth, Chris Shaw Elizabeth, is helping us today here in the kitchen. Hey, buddy. Uh, there is a busy, busy girl for you. <laughs> Let's see, she's got her three kids in school. You guys know our, our little grandson, Nick. That's Nick's mom. Nick's got autism, and Nick's really doing just amazing, amazing with the teachers. He's got the same teacher this year. Yeah, yeah. And I will give a shout out to Miss Jessica. Yes. Tell her she was on my cooking yes. show. <laughs> and anyway, this is Nick's mom. So Nick's mom, Elizabeth, my daughter, um, she has a very busy life. So, so she, the kids are all in school right now. Now she comes to help me with the show. Now she's going to go to her job. Home and she's in kids. school and so, yeah. so, so and yep. she's taking classes so i mean you talk about a big <laughs> round of applause for my daughter elizabeth. one more big round of applause yeah. for miss elizabeth that is one busy 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 <laughs> crazy crazy busy lady <laughs> all right so now all i'm doing guys look over here chris is i am sauteing my broccoli now the broccoli i will tell you i cooked in the microwave for, um, I don't know, maybe I think I did about six, seven minutes. Okay, it was frozen broccoli. Of course, you can use fresh broccoli if you've got some. Um, but you want it, whether you use fresh broccoli or, or you frozen, you need to par cook it, okay? You don't want it going in. Broccoli, because it's so thick and it's in like a stalk, you know, it needs some time to cook and soften, okay? So we're going to let this cook for a few minutes. So while this is cooking, guys, let's chat about a few things, okay? First of all, we still need people to like and, and subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm trying to, and I'm going to show you guys, to prove to you that I have worked on my cookbook. It's here. Where are you, Chris? It's here. <laughs> Here's my cookbook. All the recipes, everything's in it. Okay, it's just a matter of getting to that hundred. In the meantime, the cookbook is done, and I promised you guys that, and it, it literally is all in there, okay? And now I just have to send it to the printer. We found out, you know, how much it's going to cost and all that stuff, so we've got that information, but the cookbook is done. And so now we just need our subscribers. So I'm asking you guys to get people to just go to YouTube and like and subscribe my cooking nook so that we can... Proceed and get this cookbook out to you guys. I can tell you it's good. it would be a great Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. It's got 60 different recipes and hints and stuff. It's, it really turned out to be something pretty darn special. And I want everybody out there to have it because it's really, it's a cookbook that is for everyday use. That anybody, what, what, whatever your cooking skills are, basically all it is is fast. It's great recipes. That gets you out of the kitchen very, very quickly. They're fast, easy, and, and delicious. delicious. Okay, so Absolutely. Emily responded. She said she's fine. It's done. Just waiting oh for them to release her after monitoring her. Wow. Okay. And then Dottie Zarnowski says, oh, how I wish I could smell the cooking in there. <laughs> And she's been applauding Elizabeth on uh, yes. that as well. Thank you very much, Dottie. Thank you, Dottie. Okay, so what did I do? I just, I, I, I had sauteed my, all three of my veggies now, which would be, well, I don't know, the, yeah, the garlic, the onion, and the, and the broccoli, all nice and sauteed. Broccoli's kind of soft. It's still a little chewy, which I like, but it's going to sit in here a little bit, so that'll give it more time to cook. Okay, put my chicken in, my ready-made, I already cooked the chicken, all I had to do was dice it, okay, and right now this looks like a big dry bowl of something, aha, but I haven't put any of the other stuff, all the other goodies in, okay, so now that I've got all the veggies kind of mixed through and stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a can of cream of chicken soup. That's good stuff, by the way. Okay? And let me show you my little gadget that I do use. This is actually, you can see how this is shaped. This is actually an icing spatula. Okay? But it's so awesome when you go to scoop things out. Because it goes up along the sides. If you can see that, Chris. Mm -hmm. It goes up along the sides. And you get all of your soup out of there. Now... Normally, when you're doing, you're using a cream of 
chicken, mushroom, celery, whatever cream of soup you're using, you usually have to put in um, water, a can of water. We ain't gonna do that. We're gonna put our broth, okay? Because we want chicken, 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 and more chicken flavor in our chicken broccoli cheese. Bake, okay? I call it a bake because normally you would put this in the oven and, um, you know, the cheese would brown and everything. In a skillet, okay, um, you won't get the browning, but you'll definitely get the nice cheese melted and everything, okay? All right, let's get this mixed up. Emily said, how are my boys? And she's telling everybody to like and subscribe. Thank you. Your you? boys are doing just fine. They worked really well today. Um, they, uh, you know, do all their school stuff here at home. Um, and we, Papa has kept them really busy. <laughs> I'm a slave driver. He's doing a little bit. <laughs> He's kept them very busy. <laughs> Toby can read you a whole book when you get home. Okay, guys, look at how beautiful this is. Dottie wow. says that looks so good. Dottie, it smells amazing. It, it really does smell delicious. <laughs> and, you know, there are some things that just, the food is so pretty <laughs> that when it's said and done, you, you hate to eat it, but uh, no, we're going to eat this, baby. This is delicious. Okay, so I had out two cans of my cream of chicken because I was going to wait and see if I needed another can. But, you know what, guys? I don't. This is going to be plenty, plenty, plenty. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the cover on this. And you know, I'm going to give it a little sprinkle of my, you know what, my, my low sodium garlic salt. I want a little bit of flavor. Even though I've got the, 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 the garlic in there, you got to have just a tiny bit of a garlicky, salty flavor in this. Okay. When you saute the garlic, though, doesn't it kind of give it a sweeter flavor? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely has a more roasted mm -hmm. kind of. It brings what it does is it brings out the oils in the in the garlic, mm -hmm. and it, it definitely has a different. If you were to bite a piece of like a garlic clove, slice it, bite it, woo, mm -hmm. that'd be pretty pretty potent. But once you cook it, once you put the heat on it, and that. The oils release, it's a milder and it's just a like a smokier kind of flavor. It's so mm -hmm. good. Alright, let's turn this baby down. Rice is still cooking. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. If you don't have a rice cooker, oh my gosh, get one. You can do any kind of rice in there. You can even do a rice pudding in there. And I've done that. And it's very good. You just put all your stuff, ding ding ding, your raisins, your you do a, a sugar milk mixture. Throw it in, vanilla, throw it in, you got rice pudding. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and put our lid on and let this cook. I'm gonna throw this can away and put this in the sink and we're gonna work on our salad. Now, let me explain what we're doing. This is called several different things, green fluff, um, pineapple delight, it's got all these things, okay? But the real name of this salad is Watergate salad. Anybody out there ever hear of Watergate salad? Okay, so in my doing research on this, I said, why, why? Did President Nixon like this salad? I mean, where did it come from? Basically, that's what I thought. Maybe maybe this was Nixon's favorite salad and they called it Watergate salad. I don't know. But what it is, it is about the time of Watergate salad was kind of changing what salad was. Salad was not just lettuce, tomato, onion. It was changing to like concoctions in a bowl. Whether it was lettuce, cottage cheese, fruits, veggies, whatever it was, it was changing the word salad, the, the meaning of salad, not the words, but the meaning of what a salad was around 1975 started to switch, started to shift, okay? And so people were experimenting with different kinds of salads. So this happens to be a one of those creations from 1975. The other thing that happened in 1975 was pistachio pudding. 
So that's where people say, ooh, we love pistachio. So now we've got a brand new flavored pudding that Jell-O put out. Let's do something. So it was all these things that happened in the same time period. And thus, Watergate salad. Okay, so that's where that came from. Now, when you make a salad like this, they, it really is preferred that you make it and then you refrigerate it for at least an hour before you eat it. But what I did was, to expedite things here in the kitchen today, I froze my pineapple. Okay? So I stuck it in the freezer about an hour and a half ago, or maybe a little more than that. And now I've had it sitting out for maybe half an hour, something like that. Around 12.30 I took it up. So it's cold. And that's going to be the key to putting it in. So this is a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. I'm going to set that on the side and then throw everything away at once. Okay, so I've got this. Now, now I'm going to put in, it's a 3.4 ounce bag. So it's a, it's a small jello box, okay, um, of the pistachio, not well, jello brand, but pistachio pudding. We're going to put it right over the pineapple. Okay, so Chris, let's watch this go in. And you then Donna Cahill watching with us. Hello, Donna Cahill, how are you, girl? Thank you for joining us today. Right now, I'm making my Watergate salad. Now, isn't that pretty? Now, listen, guys, this color is a perfect, like, March 17th, St. Patty's Day. <laughs> this would be a great St. Patrick's Day salad because of the color. It also is a great, um, like a potluck kind of a dish. It, Thanksgiving, you know, dessert table. This is a great, great, quick, easy, fast, easy, delicious dessert to have. Again, it's called the Green Fluff Salad. It's got, if you look up Watergate Salad, you can have about 10 different names for this thing. We're gonna call it the Watergate Salad because that's really the original name of this salad. Okay, that's looking beautiful, actually. You can actually see because the, the pudding actually has little pieces of pistachio. Chris, I don't know if you can see those little bits mm. in there. But when you get pistachio pudding, you better like pistachio because they really have pieces of the pistachio in it. All right. One and a half cups of mini marshmallows. You don't get the big giant ones. You want the... Hey, get out of here. You want things bite-sized. When you make stuff like this, You've got to be able to scoop and eat. If you put a big giant marshmallow, yeah, it's just not going to work. Make sure you get the mini marshmallows. Okay. How are we doing on the phones there? Blue so blue? Dottie says, I found a simple dessert. Yes. All you use is 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and angel food cake mix. Just yes. stir and bake for 30 minutes. Ooh, did you try it, Dottie? She said, that sounds so good. Yes. Okay. I have... Well, it was probably three quarters of a cup of crushed pecans. You can use walnuts if you prefer walnuts, but the original recipe calls for pecans. So we are going with the original recipe of the world. Pecans of, of the, are a little uh, sweeter anyway. Yes, they are. Anyway. And, and, and to me, honestly, <laughs> pecans work better in cooking and baking and yeah. stuff like that. You know, walnuts are, walnuts are great if you're... We, in, in our family, we always had a big giant plate of all different nuts with the cracker, you know, the nut crackers um, during the holidays. And it would just be this array of all these different filberts and, the, you know, uh, hazelnuts and all these different things, chestnuts and, and pecans and walnuts and everything. But, and those are great just to eat. But in, in cooking and baking, my preference is definitely the pecans. Dottie she said she did dessert. try it, that recipe, yes. and she said it was very good, and she said your dessert sounds so good. Well, Dottie, give it a try. I mean, it's so easy. You can't, now I'm going to, I'm going to show you the finishing touch on that, and that is an eight ounce um, tub of Cool Whip. Now, when you put the Cool Whip in, though, you're going to fold it in, and in case you don't know what folding is, I'm going to show you. Don't just put it in and then whip it up just... It'll take away from what I already have a great texture in there from the pineapple and everything. And you want to keep your cool whip cold, okay? So now we're going to put the whole tub, the whole tub, 
of the Cool Whip in here. Get it all out, guys. And now we're going to fold in. Folding is this. Up and over. This is folding. Folding. Okay, it's not stirring. Okay, it is folding it in. You go from the bottom and you pull across the top. This is how you fold something in. So there's millions of recipes, guys, I'm telling you, that will tell you to fold in. This is what you do. If you stir, what happens is it's, it's in a cream, you'll lose the fluffiness of the cream because uh, it, it, it lets a lot of air. By stirring, you let a lot of air in and you lose the volume of your food. And in a salad like this, you don't want to lose the volume, so you just fold this cream in. Okay, the other thing I was going to tell you about, a couple of things. So, of course, the cookbook is ready to go. I still want recipes from you guys, three to five <laughs> ingredients. We're not going to continue the, the, um, the contest until we have enough people to do a fair and square contest, okay? So we want more people to get involved and to give us a recipe. You send it to our website. Chris, I'm going to let you tell them what the, where to send it and what to do with that while I mix this up. You bet. So the website is www.mcnfedup.biz. Yes. MCNFedUp.biz and there is a spot on the site where you can submit that three to five ingredient recipe for the recipe contest. You will also be able to see the menus for all the episodes, those that we have done already and those coming up. And you'll also um, see some pictures of, of uh, the dishes we've made. And you'll be able to go and read about Christine's journey with Meniere's disease. Yes. Um, so we want you to go there, visit that site, check it out. Uh, drop us a line there through the email attached to that site. And then go check us out on YouTube as well. My, cooking nook, uh, my cooking nook on YouTube. Absolutely. Go there, like, and subscribe, and share us on YouTube. Now, I'm going to tell you about next week. is My birthday is next week. Tuesday, September 1st. Oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to have a birthday party here on the on my on, on September 7th. Okay. And so here's what we do in the family, and we're trying to get you guys involved with this. So we we have this little thing that we're hoping that you guys jump on board and do with us. For my birthday, everybody in my family wears like a sapphire blue top, shirt, t-shirt, blouse, whatever it is. Let me check my rice. Perfect. Um, so it's a sapphire-y kind of blue, which is, I'm looking at this package. It's kind of like this sort of a color here, if you can see that. Like, it's, you know, like the birthstone sapphire, that kind of a darker blue. And we all wear that color shirt of some sort which by the way i gotta buy something new for next week <laughs> but so we're gonna tell you guys we want you to come to my birthday party and we want you to wear blue and if you wear blue we're gonna try to set up a a like a room like through the through facebook or a zoom page or something where we can actually pull you guys in and see that you're wearing it and if you're wearing the blue we're going to enter you in a little competition kind of a thing, like a little drawing, and pick a name, and somebody's going to win a prize, just for coming to my party. That's awesome. So, it's going to be really super fun, and we hope that you guys join my birthday on Wednesday of next week, which I, I said is one day after my actual birthday, um, and so we hope you guys come to my party, and we hope you guys wear blue sapphire blue or as close to sapphire as you can get so there you go what's okay. a birthday party without games right yes so <laughs> Lottie says her birthday september 16th ah. and sapphire's her birthday yes. hey a fellow virgo right Dottie? okay <laughs> i am putting half my cheese so it's about a, a, about a cup of cheese i'm going to put throughout the casserole 
Ooh, look at this. Look at that cheese just melt in there. Elizabeth, I don't know if you can see that on the camera over there. Oh, yeah. But this is looking absolutely delicious and amazing. And holy cow. Wow. Okay, this is beautiful. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to, I wasn't going to put the rice in it. And I decided that I have because the actual bake, if you look up an actual broccoli kind of bake, you put the rice right in. And I wasn't going to do that, but I'm going to do that because I think I want a one bowl meal. Okay? One bowl. And remember, in my rice today, I have... I had two cups of water, but I had two cups of the same low-sodium chicken broth, okay? And I'm going to take about two cups of rice. Save that for later because I love rice. I may even still put some rice on the plate because I can't get enough rice either. Okay, guys. There you go. I hope you guys can see this. Holy cow. So next week for my birthday... I've told you guys, I'm making my favorite food, right? And you're going to think I'm crazy. Is it a big giant meal? No. Is it this big gourmet kind of? No. <laughs> if you know me, just first of all, before I go into that, look at this. Is this beautiful or what? Look at that. Elizabeth, can you see this? It looks delicious. It really does look amazing. Okay, so I've got the cheese in it. We've got the rice in it. I'm going to just push it down a little bit. I'm going to put the rest of the cheese on top. Oh, holy cow. Look at this. All right, there you go. Let's put the lid back on for a few minutes. Let the cheese melt. And baby, that's done. Okay, Elizabeth, would you like to try... The salad. I think you're gonna have to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let me it, show you. But you know what? Looks... I, mean, I have to make it pretty. I have to make it pretty, okay? Mm. Even though, you know, a, a good chef always wipes the bowl. <laughs> always gotta clean it up, make it look mm. nice. You don't want a messy bowl. And I put all my paper towels in the sink. I'll clean it up tomorrow. You know me, guys. I'm gonna <laughs> clean it up. But I want this to look pretty. There you go. And now I'm going to put pecans. You can never have. Where are you from? I don't know. You never have too many pecans. You never have too many pecans. And I'm just going to put them on top. Okay. I think this is looking amazing. Now, unfortunately for me, I can't eat. Mm -hmm. It's got pecans. It's got pineapple. It's got things that I love, but I can't eat. So I'm just going to have to trust you guys to tell me how fabulous this is. Okay, Elizabeth, you ready to try this? Oh, sure. <laughs> it okay. looks great. All right, I'm going to give you a spoon. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out and okay. see how it goes here. It should be really delicious, and it should be cold because I froze mm -hmm. the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Very tell good. me what you taste as you eat it. What's the first thing you taste? Definitely the pistachio okay. pudding, right? And then the marshmallow is nice and kind of fluffy in there and stuff. And then you get the marshmallows and then the pecans. And it's okay. all really good. But you can all, you yeah. can taste you all can the You can taste the pineapple kind of in there. And okay. Mm -hmm. Yay! All right. Very good. Very, very, very mm -hmm. good. Really good. Okay, guys. It's hard to believe we're about 30 minutes, 32 minutes into the show. Lunch is done. This is, look at this. Okay. Dottie Zarnowski said she loves her cheese. Yes. And Carol Boyer says, for the casserole, could you use the canned chicken? Mm -hmm. Would it need to be cooked or browned? You can use canned chicken, mm -hmm. absolutely. absolutely. As long as it's cooked as long as, and drained, Carol. Mm -hmm. Don't put the, because sometimes those cans of chicken have a lot of uh, liquid in it. Drain it. And then use it because it, it'll it, it really will make it too too loose and you don't want that but hey I've got a, I have a finished casserole so I'm gonna get my plate I'm gonna put it on there I'm actually gonna put a little bit more rice and I'll show you what I mean because honestly 
I love rice. I mean, I could, I literally could make, I could eat a bowl of rice, Parmesan cheese on top. Have you ever tried rice, white rice with Parmesan cheese and a little pepper? I can make a meal of that. Mm -hmm. By the way, I want you to see my beautiful little fan strawberries. I don't know if you can see that. He just sliced the strawberries right under the little green topper there, and then just fan it out, and you've got strawberry fans, and they make beautiful little decorations for your plate. Come on, let's go over here. All right. So, I'm going to get some rice. We Angie Enriquez family. just joined us. Who is? Angie Enriquez. Hi, Angie Enriquez. How are you, girl? Hey, you cook some dynamite food. I've seen your stuff. <laughs> Thank you for being here, dear. <laughs> okay, so today I have made a broccoli, chicken, cheese casserole. I want you to see how gorgeous this is. Look at this. Look at that. I'm on a nice big fat piece of chicken right there on top. Uh, <laughs> Hello. I'd like you to meet my beautiful casserole. <laughs> this is this is gonna be delicious. Come on over guys. Look at this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so here's my menu for my birthday. If you take me to a really nice restaurant, guess what I'm gonna eat? You guys, you're here. You know what I'm going to eat. What am I going to eat? Grilled, Grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is like one of my go-to, all-time favorite sandwiches. Sometimes I'll put some, you know, maybe some um, uh, turkey in there. Sometimes I'll even grill the turkey with the cheese and make it kind of crunchy on the outside. But I'm making my mega grilled cheese sandwich next week with some of my favorite bread, which I like big, thick, kind of doughy white bread, like the big pieces. I'll show you that. And then I'm going to do my grilled cheese with my favorite cheeses. And then I'm going to show you what I do to the outside. And that is a grilled cheese to die for. I'm also going to do a pea salad. Now Elizabeth makes this pea salad all the time. And it is a three ingredient mm -hmm. delicious, well it's four ingredients because you have mayo. Mm -hmm. But it's the, the actual things that go in the salad are three ingredients, and then you mix it with the mayonnaise. Delicious salad. I love peas, I love onion, and I love little blocks of cheese, and that's my salad. And then I'm going to make my favorite birthday cake. I'm not telling you what that is yet. You're going to have to tune in next week and see what my favorite birthday cake is. I said to my husband today, what's my favorite birthday cake? He came up with a few ideas. <laughs> finally got it. He finally got it. But because, and the thing is, it's because I like a few, I don't really like pie, and I don't really like a lot of dessert things, but there's a certain kind of cake that I like that I'm going to be making next week for myself. I'm going to make my own birthday cake. And I'm wanting all of you to come see what kind of birthday cake I make. And then I'm going to have my favorite drink, which is what? Yes. Iced tea. Ice tea. Oh. <laughs> iced tea. Unsweet iced tea. Unsweet iced tea. <laughs> With a packet of sugar. Uh, <laughs> With a packet of sugar. <laughs> okay. And I'm drinking a little Perrier today, which is just a sparkling water. Okay. Because I have enough flavors in here. I just wanted something to just mm -hmm. kind of, you know, be light on the palate because I wanted all the flavor to come from here. So. This is my broccoli, cheese, chicken, however, whatever order you want to put it in. You know what? You can make it a broccoli chicken cheese, or you can make it a broccoli chicken cheese. <laughs> however you want to do that. We used to say, how do you like peanut, peanut butter, butter and, and jelly, jelly sandwiches? sandwiches? Do you like peanut butter and jelly, or do you like peanut butter and jelly? So <laughs> you can do the same kind of thing with this. Now, whichever mix you like better. And mine, of course, has the rice in it, too, because I love rice. Okay. Let's try the chicken, why don't we? So yours is rice. Mine is chicken. rice. <laughs> and then chicken. And then broccoli. Cheese. <laughs> oh. Oh! Mmm. It smells delicious. I'm going to get some rice. You guys, make this. Mm. <laughs> How easy is this? Wait, wait. So. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm chewing. 
So Melanie Bird just came on. She said she's late, but she's here. Hi, Melanie. And she wants well, to know what you cooked today. Well, I did a broccoli, cheese, and chicken casserole with rice. And we did a Watergate salad, which is just pineapple, pistachio, pudding. It's got uh, cons and it's got marshmallows and it's a great salad. Um, We've got Perrier drink today. Watch the show on YouTube tonight. This is episode number 32. And you guys, don't forget to tell people to like and subscribe. Please, we want to get this cookbook out to you guys. And join me next week for my birthday party. Okay? My 61st birthday. I said that in public. My 61st birthday. I thank God I've had 61 beautiful years, okay? I mean, I've got illness, you guys know that, but I'm still here cooking, okay? So thank God. So, and they always say that every year that you're above the ground, <laughs> every day year. that you're above the ground is a good day. And that's exactly how I feel about it. So join me next week for my birthday. And if you want to be in the little drawing that we're having, you've got to wear sapphire blue. Because that's what my whole family does because it's September 1st and September, the sapphire is the September birthstone. And so we want you to come to my party in blue. You don't have to, but we'd like you to. And if you wear blue, we're going to put you in a drawing and send you a gift. So, there you go. Hey, make this casserole. It's amazing. It's fast. It's fast, easy, and delicious. We love you guys. We'll see you next week for my happy birthday party. Take care. Be safe. Wear masks. Wash your hands. God bless you. Bye-bye. This.